Day two. Got the motor in. These are the motor mount plates that you just bolt to the LS block and then the 350 mounts, stock small block Chevy mounts, and then the frame mounts. The issue that we're running into, I come down here, you see this bolt hole, it doesn't line up, but the other side, it does. That's the bolt that's all the way through. So what we're finding out is a lot of guys have had to make a plate on each side, a spacer plate, to bring the motor mount about another half inch out on both sides away from the plate because it's about three quarters of an inch away. And even then you may have to elongate the bolt hole just a little bit to get it to drop down in there. Uh, so we're willing to do it. The issue, I guess what comes into play is the oil pan is a muscle car oil pan and if we don't lift the motor up anymore it kinda barely just touches the frame down there and I guess guys are having the same issue with the Holly oil pan which to my understanding is the same pan as the uh, GM muscle car oil pan just with a Holly stamp on it. A little bit different but pretty much essentially the same pan. So this is how day two ends. I'm going to pick up a set of uh, Chevy small block mounts, or at least one, and then I'll make the plates, the adapter plates, and then we'll get that in. We'll show you how, you, how that uh, worked out for us. But the motor did go in. We did have to take uh, the front core support. We unbolted it. It's just loose right now. But we had to unbolt it so we could slide it forward to get the whole motor and trans in as a package. But we're still working. A little bit more work, we should have everything uh, in and bolted in. This is the cross member he got. It is not the correct one for a 4L60. It's actually a copy of the stock one. Those bolt holes right there are a little bit different from what comes on a 4L60, but what we may end up having to do is just a drill a hole here. When we get the mount up in there, Find out where it needs to go, pop a hole through for the bolt on the back side to hold the mount. And that's about it. A little bit of a modification that we'll end up making. But other than that, this is the end of day two. So we'll get a little bit more progress going uh, in a minute. So this is the 69, this is the progress. We end up doing a battery tray in the trunk. I'm going to run the cables through the floor here. Uh, know about the seat. Today we put in the, 60, the 13 Camaro shifter and uh, console. Just got it mounted right now, loosely. Still need to bolt everything down. He opted for a newer steering wheel, one that kind of mimics the newer style vehicle. I know it's illegal to put the newer ones on the cars because they got the airbags and I supposed to take the airbags out but so that's that let's see what's up Marley so again the battery is in the trunk seats are out carpet is half out so that we can do that uh, parts all over the place we also ran the cables through the floor there so we're gonna run the PCM in the glove box here. And you can see on this side of the car, it's actually a factory grommet down there, a factory hole. We're gonna uh, put the foam in there that goes in there. Uh, other than that, you got a cold air kit, and we just need to put the coupler here, the mass airflow to the actual uh, air tube here. Uh, it's a dual passenger radiator. So we'll have to uh, get a different upper radiator hose, uh, and that's pretty much it. The passenger header is in. I know it's kind of a, a real shoddy video, but the trans cooler is partially mounted up front. We need to make a bracket to mount the other side, and then run the wires for the trans cooler. These are, this is the hot wire. We'll have to put it inside some uh, electrical conduit and run it. It's ran to the relay over here. Relay center is over here on the firewall. 
and that's pretty much it. These are all a lot of old parts, and uh, and we also have new parts. This is the big brake setup that he's running, 13 inch in the front. This is the driver's side header. We're having an issue with this primary hitting right here, so we're going to try to modify it. The owner wants to modify it versus uh, sending it back and getting a different set. And we're going to put in these gauges. Pretty nice. So this is the Speedo uh, oil pressure and coolant temp, all in this one. And then the other one has the, let me get it up for you guys, fuel level, voltmeter, and the tachometer. Yeah, so pretty nice. This is the horn here for the, and I'll get a chance to show you the uh, new steering wheel that he opted for. This is the billet specialist. And this is the newer horn. So this will just sit in there like so. That'll be pretty nice. So we'll get some more work did and uh, we'll shoot another video later.